Welcome to the Necessary Roughness. I'm your host for FantasyAlarm.com, Ray Flowers. Let's talk waiver wire in week 13. we got a bunch of names. Let's run through them very quickly, starting with the number 35 as the number of carries this season for David Johnson, the rookie of the Cardinals. You need to know his name. You need to pick him up. He's the number one ad this week. Chris Johnson out six to eight weeks with this issue with his lower leg. That's not good. We've got a turf toe situation for Andre Ellington. His workload is completely uncertain. This team has been able to run the ball all year long. David Johnson's an extremely talented guy, 6'1", 225 pounds. He can catch the ball. He can use the work at the goal line and have success, and he's also very quick. David Johnson, number one addition off the waiver wire this week. Next number is 24, as in the number of touches last week by Alfred Morris. We only saw nine touches for Matt Jones. This team can't run the football consistently. We know that. But the fact of the matter is right now you want to be owning Alfred Morris and not Matt Jones. The team is very frustrated with Jones, a rookie who's had issues with ball security, and putting up yardage, let's be honest. A couple of nice games, the rest of it pretty much dog poo. Yeah, I said poo. Alfred Morris, 24 touches to 9 last week. 42 uh, snaps to 19. Really dominating the backfield right now for the Redskins. Next number is 14. as the number of touches this season for Dan Heron. Boom! Heron, who's now back with the Colts. Now, those 14 touches were with the Bills. He's back with the Colts. Ahmad Branch has been placed on the IR. Lower half of Frank Gore is all beat up. He had 19 carries for 24 yards. In week 12, his performance is slipping. Dan Heron is someone who might, just like he did last year, have success late in the season. Next number of the day is 17.5, as in the fantasy points put up by Dontrell Inman of the Chargers in week 12. Five catches, 65 yards, a touchdown. So people were concerned because Michael Floyd was back on the field. Didn't affect things in terms of Inman. Inman still ran ahead of him, saw more snaps, saw more targets, was a bigger producer. Inman, not Floyd, looks like the number two guy out wide, along with Steve Johnson there with the Chargers. Next number is 10, as the number of targets by Devontae Parker. Finally, it only took till week 12 for the rookie to show himself. Those 10 targets led to four catches, 80 yards, and a score. Rashard Matthews has a broken uh, rib. We don't know how much time he's going to miss, but it's very possible he misses an extended period of time here. It's basically a pain maintenance issue. Parker should be added in leagues where you're looking for depth at the wide receiver position. Ryan Tannehill, not a great quarterback. But he's a successful one in terms of his fantasy output because of the high volume of passes they throw with the Dolphins. Next number of the day is 201, as in the yards produced by Marcus Wheaton. Oh, yeah, Marcus Wheaton, 201 yards, the biggest performer of Week 12, nine catches and a touchdown against Seattle. Everyone's going to go out and add him. Okay, fine. But realize this in the previous nine games, the guy had 218 yards, 18 more yards his previous nine games. Than he got in week 12. He's nothing more than the third or fourth option on the myriad of plays. That was a matchup based decision by the Steelers. You can add Wheaton, that's okay to do. But expecting him to be an every week starter, or even expecting him to be a wide receiver three the rest of the way, it's a dicey proposition. Number two is the next number. That's the number of touchdowns scored the last three games of Scott Chandler. Uh, we don't know how much time Rob Gratkowski is going to miss with the Patriots, but it does certainly look like week 13 is out. Chandler being the top waiver wire ad at the tight end position because of that. Let's not forget that Danny Amendola is very uncertain to play. We know Julian Edelman is not going to play. Deion Lewis is obviously out as well. This is an offense in New England. They want to go through the tight end. They've done it for years. Chandler is a moderate talent. He's not as physically gifted as guys like Hernandez or Gronkowski. Not even close. But he can move the chains. He can work in the red zone with his big body. A nice addition off the waiver wire. And then finally, the last number is 16 as the number of targets the last three weeks for Vance McDonald of the Niners. Now, Brent Selleck went down with a concussion. We don't know if he's going to play. Uh, Blaine Gabbard has thrown 95 passes in his last three starts. 24 of them have gone to the tight end. 25% of the passing throws go to the tight end in that Niners offense. 16 targets the last three games for McDonald. A lower-level pickup. Chandler's the guy you'd rather have. But McDonald in the Niners offense that is starting to do a little bit of things with Blaine Gabbard under center. Might be someone to take a look at if you're looking to go on the cheap. Ray Flowers, Unnecessary Roughness. FantasyAlarm.com. Don't forget to visit us. FantasyAlarm.com. Week 13 rankings. They're up. They're free. FantasyAlarm.com.